New this morning, the homeless along the Puyallup River in Tacoma are being told to leave after federal officials say that their campsite has been scraping away at a levee. Cairo 7's Rob Munoz is live in Tacoma this morning, and Rob, that camp is just one of many along that river, right? Coming up at 5.30, Cairo 7's Jeff Dubois will have a reaction from Seahawks' Doug Baldwin to the latest police shootings, what he's demanding now of the review. Boeing is calling it an important victory in a fierce competition with Airbus. The World Trade Organization found that the European Union and four of its member countries provided billions of dollars in subsidies to rival Airbus. The panel says that caused lost sales that would have been worth tens of billions of dollars for Boeing. The trade dispute goes back more than a decade. There was difficult weather all around the country. On the left of your screen there, you can see tornado damage caused by a twister that touched down near Ogden, Utah. Several homes were damaged, but no reports of injuries. In the middle, you can see where heavy rains caused more than a foot of rain that moved through Butler County, Iowa. And on the right, there's massive flooding in southeast Minnesota caused by heavy rain as well. According to the local sheriff's department, the area got more than a foot of rain. The FBI is working with Yahoo to figure out who's behind a hack that impacted half a billion users' accounts. The hack includes email accounts, as well as Yahoo Fantasy Sports, Yahoo Finance, and Flickr users. So waiting to see we'll get that victory on the field, but when it comes to the weather, it oh looks like gosh. it's going to be a winner, this right? This is perfect. Yeah, this, I mean, if you're tailgating, you'll have 60s by 10 a.m. By 1, you're going to be easily at 70.